Okay. Hi again. Uh, this is the third part, and we're gonna read the story. Okay. And through reading, I'm gonna tell you some notes about it. So, first, remember this is a myth. Okay, because characters are real. We have real animals like frog, emus, kangaroos, kookaburra. Okay, but this is a myth because characters are real but events or actions are not real. So when I have real characters, unreal events or actions, this is a myth. Done? Let's start. Tedelik the Frog, an aboriginal dream time story from Australia. Tedelik was the largest frog in the whole of the Australian outback. He was large and green and very, very thirsty. One afternoon, after a long, dry sleep, Tedelik woke up with an enormous thirst. Remember, thirsty means he needs to drink water, okay? And here we have verbs in the past and we have adverbs as well. So, Australian, outback, this, this is a place in Australia, so this is an adverb. And we have one afternoon this is adverbial phrase was is a simple past verb okay so tedelik was the largest frog in the whole of the australian outback he was large and green and very very thirsty one afternoon after a long dry sleep tedelik woke up with an enormous thirst go to the next page please Nice. I'm so thirsty, I could lap up this water hole, he complained. And that is what he did. He drank and drank till the water hole was dry. After that, Tidalak was much fatter than before, but he was still thirsty. But I see a nice fall stream, he muttered. So he hopped over to the nice full stream and he drank it dry. So let's have some notes here. So lap up means to lick something using your tongue. Okay, water hole is a kind of water, okay, like a lake or a, a river or something. So, Tedelik was very thirsty, he needs to drink a lot of water, so he woke up and he decided to, to drink all the water he sees in the Australian outback. Let's continue. Next was the lake. When the lake was dry, Tedelik was still thirsty, but he just swelled up so much that he could hardly move. So he drank a lot, so he couldn't move. But I'm still thirsty, he thought. So he moved around slowly, drinking and drinking till there was no fresh water left anywhere in the land. We have slowly here, and this is an adverb. By night time, Tidilak was no longer thirsty, but he was so swollen with water, he drank a lot that he couldn't move. He decided to take a nap right where he was in the shade of a large gum tree. The next day, this is another adverbial phrase, the next day the sun rose on a dry land. There was no water anywhere. The trees and the grasses withered and flopped over. The insects, birds and other animals searched for water, but there was none to be had. So Tidilaki drank all the water, so flowers fall, sorry, flowers fell down, uh, trees and the grasses withered, birds they didn't find water to drink, so there, is, there was no water. The animals knew they had to do something or they'd all soon die of thirst. 
but they didn't know what they could do to get the water back from the greedy frog who was sleeping peacefully under his tree. Eventually, remember, this is eventually. So we have long word, we're gonna divide it. Even, T-U-A makes ch, li. Eventually means finally. Eventually, a wombat had an idea. A wombat is a small furry animal that looks like a bear, okay? I think we should make Daedalic laugh, he explained. That way, he'll open his mouth wide, sorry, his wide mouth, and the water will flow out and we'll be able to have some water. So Wombat was a smart animal. He said, let's make him laugh. <laughs> when he laughed, the water is going to flow out from his mouth and we're going to have water again. The animals all agreed that this was a good plan, good idea. Let's make him laugh. The animals crowded round the luck. Kangaroo nudged him with her foot to wake him up. Kakapora told his best jokes in his loudest voice and he laughed and laughed at his own jokes till he fell over. Did the luck just blink like me? Look, I'm a blinking. When you reopen and you close the eye, it's a blinking. So the kangaroo nudged him. The cockapora and its kind of birds. He laughed and told his best jokes, but Ted Luck didn't do anything. He just blinked. The lizards did a clumsy dance like this a clumsy dance backwards and forwards. Ted Luck just blinked again. Kangaroo did some high hops. Kangaroo did some high hops backwards, jumps, and boxing move. Tedilak didn't even bother to blink. So animals are crowded. Wombat has an idea, had an idea. He said, let's make Tedilak laugh. And he laughs. He's going to open his white mouth and the water is going to flow out. Kangaroo jumped. She did boxing move. Tedilak didn't laugh. He just blinked. Lizards did a clumsy dance. Tedilak didn't laugh. He just blinked. And Kakabora told his best jokes and he laughed. Tedilak didn't laugh, he just blinked. Let's see the other animals. Next page. The emus fluffed their feathers and pecked madly at each other. The other animals fell about laughing. Tedilak looked a little amused, but he didn't even smile. He didn't even smile. Next. What shall we do? The animals cried. Cried here means they shouted. What shall we do? They were hot and tired and thirsty. And Tedilak had then dispelled a drop of water. Later in the afternoon, look, this is time. When? This is adverbial phrase. Later in the afternoon, an eel wiggled out from under his sleeping rock. Look at the picture here. This is the eel. Eel is a snake-like fish animal, okay? So, where is the water? It's all gone, he moaned. Eel crawled towards the animals gathered around Tedilak, but the sand was hot and he couldn't crawl over it. So he tried to stand up on the end of this tail. So look at his tail. He stood up at the end of his tail. Eel struggled to balance on the end of the tail. He wobbled one way and another, and he bent himself into all sorts of shapes, trying to avoid the hot ground. Tedilak stirred at the eel, he opened his mouth wide. Eel popped and popped and twisted and jived, trying to keep his balance. As Tedilak watched the unhappy eel, he started to smile. His smile got bigger and bigger till he started to giggle. So 
The Dilapi smile got bigger and bigger till he started to giggle. Finally, he laughed out loud and his mouth opened wide. As Dedalak laughed and laughed, the water gushed out of his mouth, filling the streams, the lakes, and the waterfalls all over the land. Thank you, Eel, the animals shouted. It was you who made Dedalak laugh, but Eel didn't even hear them. He was so happy to be swimming around in a lovely, cool, muddy water again. This is the end of the story. So remember, this story is a myth. It talks about Tedilak the frog and more than one animal. It's a myth because it has real characters, unreal events. Okay, and it talks about a frog who's very greedy. He woke up one day, he felt very thirsty. So he decided to drink all the water in the Australian outback. Animals gathered, they thought, for a solution for this. So the wombat was a smart. He suggested to make Dedalak laugh. When he laughed, he's gonna open his wide mouth. The water is gonna flow out. Animals did everything they could do. Kangaroo jumped and did boxing moves. Um, lizards did a clumsy dance. Kokabora told his best jokes and laughed out loud. And the emus fluffed at swing, but Dedalak didn't laugh, he just, Blinked. Finally, the eel came. He did everything. He tried to balance on his tail. He jived and twisted in the air. And Tedilak laughed out loud. This is the story. Try to read it alone at home. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.